Welcome back to CAD Jungle. In today's exercise, we're going to be modeling from this 2D drawing. Let's get started. Create a new component. Select a front view and let's create a sketch on a visible plane. The selected line tool. We're going to use the center line. We're going to make it 80 millimeters. The difference between using a construction line and a center line is that when you use the center line and you're using a revolve command, it'll automatically create the revolve for you. You don't have to select the middle. All right, continuing the profile, we're just going to use a regular line and draw the profile as follows. Create a little arc there. Let's start adding some dimensions to lock this down. I'm also going to show you something. So let's use the perpendicular constraint. Select this line and this line here. Now what I'm going to do also is because I have a center line here, I'll select the center line, select this area here, and it gives you a diameter length, a full length instead of basically a half length because it's basically a diameter. And you can see the icon next to the dimension itself. I'm going to remove that dimension, make some corrections here. I need to take this off. I do not want a tangent constraint. So I'll select this point and this point on the arc. It's actually already 60, so I'll just go ahead and keep that 120. Now I want the angle between here and here to be 11 and that gives us the shape we want. I actually could have went ahead and kept this and just remove the tangent constraint and that would have solved the problem. But there's nothing wrong with going back just to check and make sure that everything's set. Finish the sketch, select the revolve command and as you can see it automatically because I had a, a, a center line it automatically created a revolve around a center point for me. Let's create a sketch on this top face and add a series of circles. Select extrude command, select this inside profile, and extrude it negative eight. We're gonna bring back the previous sketch. Select the profile, extrude it negative 12. Turn off the sketch. We're going to create an offset plane from this bottom face here. We're going to offset it negative 10 millimeters. We're going to use that to create those grooves. Create a sketch on the plane we just created. Let's turn off the body for now because we don't need it. Select the center diameter circle and create our profile to set up our circle. I want to 
give this a radius of eight. I wanna lock this circle into place, create a construction line, bring it over like that. And now it's fully defined and let's create the profile for the groove. Selecting the line, turn off construction. I'm just gonna grab a point, left click and hold, because I want it to be tangent. I'm gonna do the same thing with the other side. Left click and hold, because I want it to be tangent. I'm gonna select the three point arc. Select these points here. I want the angle between these two lines to be 45 degrees. I want these to be equidistant with this line, so I'm gonna use the symmetry constraint. Select this point and this point and this line. I want the length of this line to be 16 millimeters. Once again, select a three point arc, select these two ends here. Grab the concentric constraint, select the arc, select that circle. I'm gonna select this arc, concentric constraint to this circle here. I also wanna create another circle on the center point of this circle and we're going to use this much later that way we don't have to create another sketch bring back the bodies select extrude command select the entire profile bring it up select the distance to all operation will be set to cut I'm gonna show you a little trick here. I'm gonna grab the rectangular pattern, but I don't want it to be a rectangular pattern. I want it to be a circular pattern. Not a problem, because I also have that option here in this window. Select circular pattern. The object type is gonna be features. Select extrusion we just created. The axis can be any rounded edge for the most part. And I want three of those. Next, I'm going to use the shell command. Select this bottom face and set it to three. And just so you know, had I done the shell before I actually created these, I would have had some hollow outside edges. So sequence is very important sometimes. Let's create a sketch. On this face here, create a construction circle. Create a construction line to the edge once again. Select line first. Me back up because I think I created two circles. Control Z to undo. Select line. And let's put a circle that's not construction in the center. Select the extrude command. Drag it down, select distance to all, operation set to cut, and I want six of these. So once again, I'm gonna select a rectangular pattern. Over here, choose the circular pattern. Make sure the object type set the features. Select the extrusion we just created. Select the axis, and basically this route rounded edge here. I want the quantity to be six. We have our circles.
select the top view. Let's bring it home first. If it shifts out of view, then select the top view. Let's create a sketch on this face here. Let's grab a two point rectangle. I want the top width to be 12 and I want the side to be 22. I'm going to select the midpoint constraint, select this line and select this midpoint here. It's fully defined. Select the extrude command. Select this point here, drag it down. Distance should be set to all. I'm going to bring back sketch number three, the one with this hole, because now I want to add the holes. Select extrude command, select this hole, bring it down, distance set to all. Once again, select rectangular pattern, select circular pattern. The objects I want is this extrusion here I just created. Axis, rounded edge here, and the quantity is going to be set to three. and turn off that sketch. Now I'm going to add a full rounded fillet to this top face here. And that completes this project. Well, I hope you enjoyed this quick exercise. Stick around and I shall see you in the next video.